You spent nearly two decades in the league. Yes. You were drafted by the Packers in 1993, backed up Favre in those early years there in Green Bay. What did you learn from him even at a young age then? Jamie, I learned a lot from him. What I learned most was how the game was intended to be played. And Brett Favre showed me that you are to play hard. Give it everything you want, uh, everything you have. He played with so much emotion and so much passion. He gave it everything, and that's, and that's what I took from him. Now, Jamie, it wasn't always pretty in 93 and 94. There are a lot of interceptions, some bad days, but he always kept his composure. He always kept his confidence. He kept competing. He never got shook. He just kept going forward, and, uh, uh, and I, I, I took that from him, and I, I learned a lot because um, he just left everything on the field, and it was impressive. What's maybe one thing you can share with us that – a lot of people might not know about number four. I've had a lot of teammates, hundreds of teammates throughout the years. Brett Favre is probably one of the funniest, maybe the funniest guys really? <laughs> I've ever been around. He has an incredible personality, and everybody that knows him knows this to be true. Uh, you know, in the quarterback room, you spend a lot of time with these guys. Uh, Ty Detmer was one of the quarterbacks. Steve Mariucci was, was our quarterback coach. And when I got to the NFL, I was a nervous rookie. I uh, didn't know a thing. But we'd get in that quarterback room, and Brett would spend most of the time telling stories cracking jokes, and all of us just would be in stitches, just laughing like crazy. I thought, gosh, the NFL is great. We're having a great time. We didn't get a lot of work done, but we had a lot of fun. But he was very good to me, was very willing to help me out, give me some pointers, and I appreciated that. But, uh, but what I learned from him was that you go out and you play hard. Give it everything you have, and that's what he did every time he took the field. A lot of those stories will be shared throughout the day, I'm sure. And, again, his jersey will be retired tonight at Lambeau Field when the Packers uh, have halftime against the Bears.